Welcome to this Facility Sanitation Awareness Webinar, brought to you by Alpha Tech Pet Incorporated, serving the animal care profession since 1989. I'm Dr. Seitz, the president of Alpha Tech Pet Incorporated. During this presentation, I'm going to cover four interrelated topics, beginning with some basics and progressing from there to provide you a comprehensive overview of everything you need to know for ensuring deployment of a suitable sanitation program for your facility. Those topics are sanitation terminology, sanitation principles, a sanitation self-assessment tool, and we'll finish up with a review of different types of chemistries. Let's begin by defining some terms. Sanitation terminology. These are terms you're going to come across, and although not technically correct, some have grown to be used interchangeably, speaking of sanitizers and disinfectants. We'll clarify that later. Cleaners, sanitizers, disinfectants, and sterilizers. As we move through defining these terms, you'll notice each represents an increasing level of kill power. Cleaners physically remove germs. In fact, the physical process of cleaning alone not only removes debris, but on average also removes up to 98% of bacteria and 93% of viral microorganisms. Cleaning accounts for upward of 90% of the battle of disease control and should rank near the top of one's list of concerns when choosing products and developing protocols. Clean, clean, clean should be every employee's mantra of what they are doing in your facilities. It's all about cleaning. If you take nothing away from this presentation but that one simple point, lock that one into your memory bank. I cannot stress enough how important that point is. Now, sanitizers are chemical agents that lower the number of germs, speaking of bacteria only, to non-threatening levels by killing a percentage of these microorganisms. For non-food contact surfaces, the requirement for a sanitizer claim is a three log kill. That's a 99.9% .9 reduction in bacteria. For food contact surfaces, the requirement is for a five log kill, 99.999% .999 within 30 seconds. Disinfectants are chemical agents that not only kill bacteria, but they also kill viruses and fungi and they do this with a six log kill requirement. That's 99.9999% of the microorganism population. Sterilizers kill all forms of microbial life, 100% in 20 minutes. That includes viruses, bacteria, and fungi, and even protozoan parasites. I'll come back to this later in another segment to the presentation, but I believe strongly that every facility in the country should have a sterilizer on hand for the unexpected events that put you into panic mode. Now on to part two. Let's discuss seven sanitation principles. What's it look like? What's it smell like? And how am I treated? First time visitors quickly form a mental impression of facility quality and personnel by observing what a facility looks like, smells like, and how they are treated. We all do this, right? I'd hear this time and again in my own veterinary clinics. The quality of one's facility sanitation program and the products used will determine what your facility looks like and smells like. The better the job done, the better the mental impression left with visitors and the quality of care you provide. I cannot stress enough the importance of this first sanitation principle. Though we can't help you with how customers are treated, we can arm you with the best products, solutions, and programs unique to your facility for leaving a stellar impression cementing confidence in your services. And those products, solutions, and programs translate into a healthier environment for your personnel and the animals under their care. The first thought that probably comes to mind when considering disinfectants is, what's it kill? Now, as important as that point may be, it's not as important as you may think. And that's because if cleaning is 90% of the battle of disease control, then the lion's share of your success resides right there in how well you are able to clean. The remaining 10% is about what's it kill. So when picking products and equipment, 
you need to be picking solutions and programs capable of making cleaning easy, being thorough, and doing it very well. Once you've got that down, you're 90% of your way towards success at combating diseases and making your facility look good and smell good. Those two key impressions for your customers. And that brings us to our fourth point. There is no such thing as a single product solution for all of your sanitation needs. You need to be thinking programs and combinations of products and equipment that make cleaning easier. Remember the mantra, clean, clean, clean. And to do that well, it takes thoughtful programs, employee training, and the right combination of products. Something we'll get into further in the next section as I introduce a sanitation self-assessment tool you can use to grade your own facility sanitation program and elevate it to the next level. Next is a generalized rule of thumb for you to remember regarding microorganisms. The simpler, the smaller, the tougher it is to kill. The simpler, the smaller, the tougher it is to kill. That's why microorganisms like canine parvovirus are so difficult to deal with. Parvo is a virus, it's small, and it lacks an outer envelope. Compared to most bacteria, it is simpler, smaller, and therefore tougher to kill. We are just a phone call away. Unlike many companies who are getting harder to reach, we answer our phones and pride ourselves in personalized customer service. And since we've been dealing with sanitation in the animal care profession since 1989, being veterinarian owned, there isn't much we haven't run into at one time or another. We're here to help you with your success, and we are here as a resource for when problems may arise. Now this last principle may seem obvious, but we are always surprised at how many facilities miss out on this very important opportunity. Business success involves more than just facility health, obviously, right? Here I'm speaking about having a retail area where your customers can purchase the same quality products you use in your own facility. At Alpha Tech Pet, we've made consumer put-ups for a number of our products. Your customers can purchase what they need. They'll be satisfied with their purchases. That further cements your relationship with your customers and you'll generate added income in the process. In fact, many facilities generate enough income from retail sales alone to cover overhead expenses for running their facilities. This concludes parts one and two of this webinar series on sanitation awareness. Next up will be part three of our four part series, a sanitation self-assessment tool. To help you identify your current level of facility sanitation, we've articulated the following five sanitation program levels. Basic, intermediate, enhanced, professional, and veterinary hospital grade sanitation programs. As we move through these categories, you'll notice each category represents an increasing level of overall facility sanitation capability. By grouping products presently in use together in your own facility, you can self-assess your current level of facility sanitation by identifying the category that sounds most like you right now. The goal here is to first identify your current level of facility sanitation, and then to ask the question, how can I take our sanitation program to the next level? Each successive category logically builds upon the prior categories, in order of importance in recommended products being utilized. The differences in each category result from the combination of products and or equipment being utilized. To take your sanitation program to the next level, you simply need to look at the suggested combinations of products identified in the next program level and add them to your current program regimen. Next, we'll begin drilling down on each of these five categories to go into a little more detail. The first category is the basic sanitation program. Most facilities will initially be located here. These are facilities employing one or more of the big D's of facility sanitation. Those would be disinfectants and cleaners, degreasers, deodorizers, and drain maintenance products. Please make note of this, having the right combinations of products by making use of all four types of products accounts for upwards of 90% of your success at battling disease transmission in your facility. Remember, clean, clean, clean 
is the mantra that your employees should be embracing in everything they do related to sanitation. So when picking products and equipment, you need to be picking solutions and programs capable of making cleaning easy, being thorough, and doing it very well. Once you've got that down, you're 90% of your way towards success at combating diseases and making your facility look good and smell good. To take your sanitation capabilities to the next level, an intermediate sanitation level program, we would first recommend adding a big gun to your arsenal of products as just identified in the basic sanitation level program. This would be adding a nuclear bomb, if you will, for disease outbreaks and or for use in your isolation wards on a routine basis. When panic mode strikes, you want peace of mind that you have what you need to deal with the situation. This means having a sterilizer and or a higher level disinfectant readily available, something stronger than what you would normally use in your routine disinfectant needs. I strongly believe every animal care facility in the country should have a liquid surface sterilizer on hand at all times and readily available, a product capable of killing 100% of all forms of microbial life. This would include viruses, bacteria, fungi, and even protozoan parasites. It will save lives, save headaches, and ultimately save you money by minimizing downtime and disruptions. To take your sanitation capabilities to the next level, an enhanced sanitation level program, you need to begin thinking about adding air, hand, and cleaning aids. Because some microorganisms are airborne pathogens, don't overlook treating the air in your facility to enhance its overall quality. Options here might include employing chlorine dioxide treatment of air handlers, HVAC plasma generators, and or deployment of ultraviolet light systems. Next, be sure to address the obvious. Touchless hand sanitizers should be strategically located throughout your entire facility to cut down on person to animal fomite transmission of microorganisms. And then there's microfiber by making use of color-coded microfiber mops, cloths, and mitts. Red for isolation areas and blue for everything else. The beauty of microfiber is that it makes cleaning easier. Instead of simply pushing debris around with cotton mops, microfiber elevates your sanitation capabilities to a whole new level. The dense construction of split microfiber creates a more efficient cleaning system as its positively charged fibers attract negatively charged debris, thus pulling liquid and debris away from surfaces, locking them deep within reusable, machine washable microfiber products. Remember, clean, clean, clean. That alone accounts for 90% of your success at battling disease transmission. So the easier you make it for your employees to clean, the better the overall job being performed. And that boils down to the program you are employing and the right combination of products that you are using. To take your sanitation capabilities to the next level, a professional sanitation level program, it's time to begin thinking surface saturation and green. This program level begins adding high-tech equipment and also allows one to save on chemicals by adding chemical-free green alternatives to your facility sanitation regimen. Electrostatic sprayers enhance surface saturation of applied chemicals by providing three times the coverage of traditional sprayers. This is accomplished by delivering electrically charged droplets having a surface attractive force greater than 15 times that of gravity. This magnetic attraction results in better surface saturation of sprayed surfaces. This is important because even the best practices miss cracks, crevices, and the backside of sprayed surfaces with traditional sprayers. Observe the video for a demonstration. Aqueous ozone is a chemical-free sanitizer that turns ordinary tap water into stabilized aqueous ozone, a powerful natural cleaner 
stain remover, deodorizer, and sanitizer. Aqueous ozone is made on demand with continuous flow for mop buckets, spray applicators, carpet extractors, and automatic scrubbers, killing germs while cleaning. It provides residue-free performance for a longer-lasting clean and low slippage by breaking down residual soaps and cutting through biofilm. And it's 50% more powerful than bleach and 3,000 times faster killing microbes. And it's all done naturally, breaking down into nothing more than oxygen and water. To take your sanitation capabilities all the way to the top, a veterinary grade sanitation level program, begin employing high technology and smarter technology equipment. Though high pressure sprayers may do a good job blasting through debris, what you may not realize is that the high pressure aerosolizes microbes in the process. That's just not a good idea for your employees, nor is it for the animals under your care. Having the ability to efficiently apply chemicals is a must, but stay away from using high pressure sprayers and instead look for low pressure, low flow applicator solutions. You'll end up with a healthier environment and your facilities will experience less long-term damage in the process. Next up is investing in industrial grade equipment for your facility. Purchasing heavy duty equipment saves money in the long run because you get longer life and better functionality than household equipment can provide. And here I'm speaking about commercial grade washers and dryers, floor scrubbers, and turf grass extractors. And then finally, you should be investing in a means to monitor the success of your overall sanitation program. We believe every facility should have the ability to monitor cleanliness. This allows you to see firsthand where there may be a breakdown in compliance and helps you solve problems before they develop. Having a handheld ATP testing meter on hand allows you to evaluate the vitality of your cleaning and sanitizing protocols and it provides you a tool for measuring employee compliance. This concludes part three of our webinar series on sanitation awareness. Next up will be part four, our concluding section, a discussion about different types of disinfectant chemistries.